Hi everyone, it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little flip through of my completed December daily album. So I'm really excited to make this video and I hope that you enjoy it. So first of all, I used a life crafted album this year, which is a really fun size if you want to do kind of like a smaller mini album. So I really suggest that and I was able to fit my entire a season into this one album, which is really great because if you remember kind of halfway through, I thought that I was going to need to put half of it into a second album, but I was noticing that it looked like I was going to have space and I went with it and here we are with one album full of memories, which is what I really wanted. So really quick at the outside um, spine, I just used my label maker with red label tape and said um, Xmas 2020. I got this idea from Dearly D, this little um, kind of charm holder with the twine, but I put a little kind of um, funny vintage Santa on the outside. And here we go with the flip through. So first of all, whenever you open it up, if you'll remember when I was probably like halfway in there somewhere, maybe day seven, eight, I made a little envelope pocket and then I decided not to use it throughout my actual pages and I put it here on the inside. Well, as I was working with this album, it was just getting used so much throughout the season that the envelope was looking a little like worn. So I thought, you know what? It didn't work out this time. I'll try to use the envelopes for something else. And I ended up just um, taking that off and I used the other embellishments that I had put around it throughout the album or in my planner. But here I just used a piece of the um, Hey Santa collection from Crate Paper on the inside. I cut out a few little, um, little things here and added a few embellishments and just made a cute little opening page. Then over here we have the title page, the 25 days of Christmas. So mostly everything that I use throughout here is the Hey Santa collection from Crate Paper in a creative bubble, like new printables for this year and the Citrus Twist, um, like Christmas collection for this year as well. So for this page, this was day one. And you know, like I said before, these aren't really days. They're just kind of stories. They're just little things that I wanted to document. But the first one, this is our big tree. And then over here, I just used a glassine bag and I just have a little tag with a little bit of journaling on the back and then it just tucks right in. So just an easy day one. For day number two, I documented our second tree. So this is kind of our little smaller tree that's in our TV room and documented that and a few other smaller pictures with the little two by two squares of our other decorations. I did add a little label, um, which I don't think was there when I originally did the page couple more pictures and then here we have day two and so over here I did just add kind of messily add a little bit of ribbon around on here to make it a little more exciting and I think added this hello December sticker as well then for day three this story is about Will making snickerdoodle cookies which we made like three times throughout the season so over here I just have the full page um, picture of the cookies and then here I did a little simple stories flip to show a couple pictures with a little more journaling and off camera once again I decided I kind of wanted to also incorporate the recipe for the cookies because they were a huge hit and we made them a lot so what I ended up doing was I did this off camera but um so this side with the two and this picture weren't adhered together yet so what I did was I just printed off a little three by four um, card here and this is the uh, recipe and then I just added a cute little border to the top with a little index tab and then I adhered the two pictures together kind of around this area where I knew that this would still be able to move and then I just made a slit in this actual photo along with the page protector so then this can just slide right into the picture and like that. And so I just have kind of a hidden recipe in there. So I did add that later off camera, but I thought that that was a fun way to add the recipe because these two cards are already adhered together. So I couldn't add it on the back of that one. So that was day three. Day four was really simple. Just a cute picture of Penny here in her little um, sweater and hat. 
with the big stamped number. I did add a little cluster of embellishments. And then I had a few of these little um, tags from the cut apart sheet from crepe paper left over. So I just um, kind of included those throughout. So there's this one. Then for day five, we have the almond nog. And for six, I did this little shaker pocket with a little bit of journaling just about being at home this season and how happy I've been about that. Then for day seven, this is where I had run into the few issues. So for day seven, I ended up using the um, packet of hot chocolate, made a little tag here with the picture on the back and the big number on the back, and then you just slip it right into the hot chocolate packet. For day eight, um, I ended up doing a big flip out, so I just adhered these two pictures together, and then I um, added a little in a creative bubble um, TN sized card here and then just added a little washi around the side, added a little washi inside, and then you have a cool flip. So I thought that that was fun and that was to talk about taking uh, family photos for our Christmas card. Day nine, we baked cookies. So once again, very simple, just printed off my picture. It's about a four by eight. I think I do like 4.2 by 8.2 and um, just added a couple three by fours of us decorating, me and my mom decorating our cookies, day nine, and a couple more on the back. Then for 10, I tried to do this vellum, which it's not my absolute favorite, but I mean, I think it looks better in person than on camera, it's hard to see. And I just added the little um, shiny stars down the side and then okay so for this one I changed a couple times as well so if you remember on camera you know I had several um, tags and then when I came back for the flip through of just this section of pages I showed that I had printed off these little small pictures of some of our favorite holiday movies and I have a little bit of journaling on the back well then whenever you know I was this was getting more full and more full um, I decided I just didn't need those other tags and honestly I thought it kind of took away from like the cuteness of these little movie posters. So I ended up just going with the one large tag which I think looks a lot better. For day 11 I'm just talking about the doggies and so in here I have the little 11 and then you pull this up and you just have a little small amount of journaling that just tucks right inside there. And then I have all of the shaker pockets here with a couple pictures of the dogs. Then when you flip it over, of course, this shaker continues with a couple other two by twos of our, um, the little jerky advent that I did for Will this year with a large picture of some of the jerky. And I did add a little label off camera to kind of like, it's obvious what this is about, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to have like a little sentence for the future just to kind of like remember that. Okay, and so here, this was where I was gonna end the album. So I had put the jerky receipt, which you could still keep inside between these two if you wanted to keep something like a receipt. But since it wasn't the end of the album, I thought, well, I'm gonna make this prettier to, to continue with the rest of the stuff. So actually just on the, I just adhered this paper and all of this stuff outside the page protector, and I just adhered it right to the page protector. So this side, is inside a page protector and then this side is outside of the page protector but it's the same pictures just a couple of the outtakes from our Christmas photos and I just included those with a little flip and it's that easy and I was able to use some more of my embellishments up so then day 13 I did our holiday playlist so I just typed everything up on vellum and then you can flip it up and see our little record cabinet and our tree and all of that really easy page Day 14 uh, was about our ornaments. So on this side, I did little two by twos of some of our favorite ornaments, our honeymoon and our wedding, and some that look like our dog and cat and just all kinds of little special ones. And over here, I hadn't filled this out yet, but this was one of the like ornaments that I got to commemorate the year. It's a little Joe Exotic from Tiger King. So I got that from Etsy and I thought it was really cute just to kind of commemorate 2020. And then once again, I put a little tag just in there for fun. Then for day 15, this was all about the Christmas cards. So over here, I cut out little pieces from um, 
from, you know, things that I gotten in the mail in the little two by two squares. And then this is the Christmas card. I have this extra picture. And even though this picture is already in the album, I had printed it off for something else and didn't use it. So I just put it in here. And then this is the rest of 15 with all of the cards stacked up, ready to go. And of course this washi is just there to cover up people's addresses for the video. Okay, for 16, this was about my mom making the Christmas stockings. So over here, I just have a little flip, whoopsie, with a little bit more journaling and another photo of her. Then I had um, just about mine and my mom's day with wrapping the gifts, so just a small amount of journaling, the little poster of one of the Christmas movies that we watched, and a little bit of our actual wrapping paper, which I think is a fun touch. 18 was just a really super easy currently list from In a Creative Bubble. So I love those printables when you just need to get a day done and you don't really have pictures or anything like that. Day 19 was when we went to go see Christmas Vacation at the movies. We rented out the movie theater room. A couple little Instac pictures here. Um, and this is a special little Instac uh, page protector from Becky Higgins that I've had a really long time. This is the cute little three by eight card from in a um, nope from Citrus Twist in their um, holiday kit this year. So I used this side to talk about day 19, and then on the other side I just talked about my work Zoom meeting and the things that we like normally would do at work and what we did this year. So talked about that, and I just have a little picture here. Then here's where I had kind of flubbed up my numbers, if you remember from that process video. So this should have been day 21 and so on, but I stamped this one day 20 as well, which doesn't bother me, but um, I was able to easily fix it. So this one we're just saying is another story from day 20, and these are like the holiday scents that um, I wanted to remember this year, and this was my favorite candle that I got. And then over here, we have day 21, which was just, most of these are stories from Christmas or Christmas Eve. Day 21, all of our food. Day 22, which I did add um, this cute little ribbon with a little sequins in the middle. So that's just a family photo. Got a little Santa over there. A little family photo. And then over here, you flip this one up as well with another picture of me and Penny and a little bit of journaling. Day 23, we have the cute little Grinch photos. Oops, one more. Little Grinch photos from the Instagram filter for day 23. And then we have one other little tag, day 24, looking at Christmas lights. And then day 25, this is where I did end up adding a little bit of pattern paper with a little bit of journaling under my pockets. So, and then for the, for the back, just because I'd added something in the front, I just added another pretty piece of the, uh, Hey Santa collection paper for the back and called it done, you know? So a lot of my stories, or if I wanted to journal a little bit more, I mean, I still do project life throughout this and I still document, um, everything in there. So if I wanted to write a little bit more, it was easy to do that throughout, project life as well. But this is just a fun little mini album. And honestly, it helped me to create a lot more little magical moments throughout the season. Instead of just baking the cookies, I got to make sure I took good pictures and document them afterwards. And that was really fun as well. So I hope that y'all enjoyed all of the process videos throughout the season. And I hope that you enjoy this little flip through. It's been a lot of fun um, documenting and sharing Christmas magic with everyone. And I hope that even if your season was different this year, I hope that you were still able to find some special little moments throughout and some joy. So, um, guys, that one's a little difficult, but you get the point. <laughs> so, guys, um, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider doing that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, I would love it if you would follow me on Instagram. Same name as here, Leilani underscore scraps. Thank you once again for all of the support. And I will be back very soon with some fun beginning of the year crafting. So, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Bye.